Whew. Have a look at that coastline. There's nothing between here and Patagonia, which is way out there across the Southern Ocean somewhere. Now legend has it that this coast can be slammed with monster waves. I've snuck the board along for this trip. And I'm hoping to get a couple of waves, but maybe a few that are a little bit more user friendly. That looks so good. Down at Netley Bay, just out of Maribor, the normally quiet beach is a sea of puffers and beanies. Oh, I've got it. Good morning. Welcome everybody to the 47th annual West Coast Classic. Starting off this morning in Netley Bay. Just keep your eyes out for the old uh, tiger snake. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a... Uh, Glenn, salty salt marsh, gets the ball rolling. Event. And Goffey put his paradise here, all these left handers. Under 16 boys off and in the water, heat rolling. Then He's been running the West Coast bit. Classic Surfing Competition in two heats time over the under since 1998. Girls. Do you want to tuck in the open men's and then bring it back? Uh, we might have to, yeah, we might have to. Nowadays, Salty gets a bit of help from his daughter, April. OK, plan A. Yep, sweet. I try and put on a good professional event and I try and make sure that the good surfers aren't just competing in crap, that we're looking for good to challenging ways for the good surfers. And that's the big draw card. <laughs> Like the name of the comp, Salty is a classic. He has a surfing shack in Marawar, and at one point, he even owned a Sandman panel van. We were a bit of a living cliche back in those days. You had the shag and wagon surfing up the coast. You were living the dream, Salty. I was living the dream, yeah. No, I had a maroon Sandman panel van for a lot of years. Oh. And it was a great surfing car. It oh. really, really was. Oh, I wonder whatever happened to that. It rusted out. <laughs> Rumour has it, the surfers who first discovered Marawar's breaks in the 70s weren't quite as welcome as they are today. Obviously here was a very uh, rural, hard-working, conservative area and I guess the early image of surfing was um, long-haired layabouts. And also, you know, there was that drug culture that they presumed they were associated with and, uh, and the fact that they never worked. And I guess it's just one culture versus another culture. But over time, it's become very acceptable. Have you been able to tempt a few of those uh, rural farming families over to the dark side? Yes, there are quite a few now surfing. And they see it as a very healthy sport, which is great. Rather than divide the community, this event seems to bring everyone together, especially families passing down that love of surfing from one generation to the next. I'm seeing guys that used to come over here and compete, and now they're back with their children, which is really, really good. So why do you think your dad's stuck at running this comp for 34 years? Uh, because it's our weekend together, honestly. OK, surfers, check out the swell. Oh, he's in the barrel. Red was in the barrel. Porter. Would it be a West Coast Classic without Salty at the helm? It wouldn't be the same West Coast Classic, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, West Coast. West Coast is a special place, isn't it? We're so lucky to be um, running an event here. It's not easy. Thank you very much. It was a great weekend. So how'd the comp go, Saudi? Really good. It was an exceptional year. We were gifted with um, big, solid surf. Three days of very good conditions. How do you reckon you went in the final? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I've got to beat him. <laughs> Oh,
Southern Ocean is washing all over me. 